Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to properly add sound effects for bouncing objects, and that goes for bouncing and rolling as well. So this is quite a simple video and also quite a simple solution to a problem. However, it is also something which a lot of people don't seem to understand. When you see this, though, you will immediately understand it as again, it is very, very basic. But I'm going to be going over it today because sometimes you do need to just point out those easy things. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So if you've already tried to create your own sound effects for a bouncing or rolling object, it might sound something like this. So you heard at the end there, it got really, really glitchy and played a load of sound effects at once. That does not sound good at all. So what we're going to be setting up today is this. You heard that sounded a lot better. It didn't glitch and spam a load at the end, as you can hear there. And obviously, if it still plays too much for you, you can modify and change this to play even less if you want it. So you're going to be changing this to this. So again, this is what we're going to make today. Very easy to customize and change to get it perfect for you. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we need to do is we also need to import our sound effects which we're going to use. I'm just using two different ones which I've got for freesound.org just to add a little bit of variety in there so it doesn't sound as bad. And these sound like this. I'll leave a link to these in the description down below. One of which, which is the first one I believe, you do need to make sure you credit them, which again, I've obviously done in the description. Add as many different sound effects as you want. I'm just using two for today, just for the purpose of the tutorial. What you also want to do is make sure you've already got your ball or whatever it is which you're bouncing set up. So I've already done that. All I've got in here is just a sphere with a sphere collision on it. And I've got projectile movement just because I'm simply throwing the ball. However, again, obviously set up this blueprint for how you want and how you need it to be. What we're gonna do next is actually create the sound effects which we're going to use. So we've imported the different ones, but I want to actually modify these a bit. So I'm going to right click, go to sounds, and I'm gonna create a sound cue, and I'm just gonna name this ball bounce cue, like so, opening that up straight away. In here, I'm gonna drag and drop my two sound effects into it like so, because these are the ones which I want to be using. And out of these, because I want to play a random one, I'm going to drag out and get a random node connecting both of those into there and that going into the output, like so. So now if I were to play this sound effect, you'll see it's going to play a random one of these two inside of it. Now obviously it's a 50-50 chance, so it's just gonna kind of go between them like that. But again, this just makes it sound and look a bit better and not as repetitive. And that's all we really need to do in here. However, I also want to give it attenuation so it's location-based. So I'm going to scroll down until I find override attenuation, tick that, scroll back up, and now we can change the inner radius and fall off distance. I'm not going to change it too much, I'm just going to lower the fall off distance a bit, just so you can't hear it as far away. But again, for the purpose of this video, that doesn't matter as much. But if you want to know how that works, what we can do is if we were to drag in our sound cue, you'll see this circle here is the inner radius where you will hear it at full volume. And this outer circle here is the fall off distance where it will start fading in and out the closer or further away you are from the sound cue. So that's what I've done there. I'm now going to close this cue as that's all we need to do in there. As you see, I've now opened up my ball BP or just the object in which you want to bounce. So do that as well and then go straight over to the event graph. Inside of the event graph, we want to right click and get event hit as we want to do this when it bounces or when it's rolling and whenever it does hit something whether or when it collides with something it is going to fire off this event hit because we want to play the bouncing sound effect when it hits with something. So what I imagine you've already done is you've just gone straight into a play sound at location or just playing your sound there. This is why it's spamming it a lot because every time this fires off it will be quite quickly when it is rolling. So let's delete that. A simple way to fix this is hold down O, left click to get a do once and connect that into the event hit. This is going to prevent it spamming because it's only going to do it once until we reset it. Out of the completed, we're going to play sound at location or 2D, however you want to do it. I'd recommend at location. And we're gonna connect the location into the hit location of the event hit. So where this ball just bounced, again, that's my example, is where the sound effect is going to be played. And the sound for me is just going to be my ball bounce cue like so. Then after this, we're gonna hold down D, left click to get a delay, connecting that into there. The duration for me, I'm gonna set as 0.15 because that is how quickly I want this to reset. So as I said, reset, the completed is gonna go into the reset of the do once there. 
So after this delay has finished, it's to reset the do once, meaning that the next time the ball collides with something or hits something, it can then play the sound effect again. So again, set this duration here to as long as you want. For you, you might want it to be even longer, or you might want it to be even shorter, just depending on how quickly you want your sound effects to play after each other. I messed about with it earlier to find some different values, and I found that 0.15 was perfect for me, and I found really anywhere between 0.15 and 0.25 seemed like a good duration. Anything below that sounded too quick, and anything above that didn't play every single time it bounced. But again, just mess about with it to get the values perfect for you. We'll compile and save that, and that is it completely done, that's all we need to do. This is what I meant by it's a very very simple code, it's simply a do once, playing the sound, waiting, and resetting the do once. I'm going to close that and also just show you the code I have here for actually throwing the ball. Because I've got projectile movement, so let me just reopen that, sorry, because I've got projectile movement in here, the initial speed is a thousand, so when it spawns it's going to be travelling already, and I obviously have should bounce, so it is going to bounce. Then in here, all I'm doing is just spawning in the actor with a location of this sphere here just as a reference. And I've got that for both of these because this is the one we've just set up. And this one here is the other one which I showed you of the bad example when it spans. Again, I do have other videos of going over properly throwing something, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below as well if you want to go over and watch that too. But let's close this, hit play and test this out. So again, let's press H or the bad ball first and we'll hear what that one sounds like. That's obviously what we don't want to get. So if you now press G, which for me is throwing the good ball, let's see if that sounds any better. You'll see and hear there that that sounded perfect. For when it was bouncing and rolling, it didn't play too much, it didn't play too little. For me, that played the perfect amount of times. And also you can add more sound effects as well to make it sound even more diverse and not as repetitive. So I think that'll be it for this video, if we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we set up this bouncing ball, but again it can be for any object really, which is going to bounce and roll along the floor, playing a sound effect perfectly and nicely without spamming it in the player's ear and sounding really really bad. As you can hear there, that's what we don't want, this is what we do want. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.